Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying to Find Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. I'm going to get two overall energies, <clears throat> and then we're going to get into it with the Kipper and then the Tarot. Okay. All right. Two overall energies for my beautiful Aquarius, please. Okay. <laughs> One more. Whoa. All right. Feeling a little friction, a little conflict. Okay, just the way the cards came out. They came out like this. So I'm not sure what this one says yet, but this one is snake. This is the first card out. So um, your intuition might be screaming at you right now. And it might be screaming foul play, okay, or red flag, or <laughs> pay attention to your surroundings because there might be a snake on your path, okay? Um, this also could represent um, overcoming an illness or getting medication. Um, it also could represent dabbling in the... Uh, I don't want to... What? Witchcraft? The, the, the dark arts or something like that. <laughs> Okay, but this is snake. We'll read the message on it, okay? It says, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. Okay, so what did I say? There might be like some sort of snake or foul play on your path. So just be a little wary of your surroundings right now. Be a little guarded, okay? All right, and let's see what this one is. All right, we have wishbone, okay? Ooh, <laughs> I'm getting, be careful what you wish for, right? Because you just might get it, Aquarius, okay? Um, this also could represent, you know, in the States here, we celebrate Thanksgiving. That's when we have our big turkey. And then when we're all done eating the turkey, um, there's a little wishbone inside. We dry it out and... Um, you know, one person grabs one side, another person grabs the other, and who comes out with the bigger side gets the wish, okay? So you might have been wishing for something around uh, Thanksgiving, and it may have arrived around Christmas, or it's still in the works, okay? But let's read the message on the card. It says, wish, your heart's desire is ready to come true. Okay. All right. With this snake here, I guess I'm going to state what I said earlier. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Aquarius, because you just might get it. <laughs> All right, so I'm picking up the Kipper, and the change card is at the bottom. So this, you might be doing a relocation, changing homes. Um, this might have to do with a home, uh, but we'll see. Let's get into this for my Aquarius. What is snake and wish for my Aquarius, please? Okay, this one wanted to come out. Courthouse, okay? And I know I just said changing locations, changing homes. I, I And then the word house on this card is calling out to me. Um, you might be having a legal conflict of some sorts or you're putting something in writing. You might be getting a lawyer. Um, but he's walking out of this legal building with legal documents, okay? And I don't get judge vibes from him, even though he's wearing like the white wig. But it, back in the day, the lawyers did. So you might be facing a legal battle, okay? You might be fighting for something <laughs> in the court system. Uh, but I'm here. It's same thing, okay? Be careful what you get for be careful what you wish for because you just might get it okay but let's see um yeah you guys be might be, might have been fighting over the wishbone okay these are these are two hands here and like i said one's going to get the bigger side, which is the wish, and the other one comes off just like, you know, with the smaller piece here. And something about that didn't seem fair to somebody, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, more 
for this and the Aquarius. Okay. Occupation wanted to come uh, out of this deck. So occupation, um, that's a career move. You might be changing careers. Um, you just might be razor focused on something. Um, and maybe it's this court case that you're involved with. It's like you want to be victorious in it, Aquarius. So like you're putting all your effort into um, making sure the outcome works in your favor, okay? What is this? <laughs> I feel like it has something to do with like two people fighting over with the house here, like fighting over land, fight, fighting over property, um, taking your, I don't know, taking somebody to court, okay? Um, okay. The coffin card is here, okay? So maybe you guys are fighting over an inheritance. All right, um, that could definitely be a possibility. With these two cards, okay. Taking somebody to court um, or, or, or a death is being investigated or something like that, okay. Let's get into it with the tarot. Yeah, the snake is definitely, I feel like a red flag or a foul play. And I think it has to do with some sort of property. I feel like there is property or inheritance or money that was taken from somebody very underhandedly. And um, it was exposed. And whatever was taken from you, Aquarius, or vice versa, it's going to be returned. It's it's going to be court ordered to be returned. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I'm hearing this means war. This means war. And then I'm hearing an arrest will be made. Okay. Payout money. I feel like this is an issue that's that's ongoing with uh someone. Yeah, something somebody that you're related to. Okay, somebody that you're related to, this could be like um, to, to brothers, to sisters, to um, cousin, you know, it's just, I feel like it's in very close relations here, okay? And with this, this I feel like a, a death in the family or an inheritance. And that's how it usually goes, you know, if somebody passes something on, there's usually a family conflict afterwards, sometimes. Yeah. <sighs> somebody is obsessed with the win. Somebody's obsessed with the outcome of this situation. Um, they're really keeping tabs. They're really keeping tabs. Okay. Like they're, they set up all sorts of cameras outside your, their house. Um, they have, you may have caught them around your house or vice versa. I'm hearing big outdoor events. Okay. I don't think this court case has been resolved yet, but it might be reaching its conclusion. Something about a key, something about uh, like somebody has to return the key or something like that. All right, let's get into it with the tarot. Ugh, 
this this emperor just keeps following me through like all the reads. I don't know if I want to put him back. <laughs> but if you notice, if you go through my other readings, he's always jumping out here. Okay. Um, this could have to do with a father figure. Um, he's carrying documents and blueprints also. Okay. So the emperor can represent Christ the creator. I'm sorry. God the creator and Christ the king, which is the king of all kings. Um, if it's not representing that, because maybe you've been really connecting with source because this situation may have felt overwhelming to you. Um, and know that, you know, in your most difficult times, God is always there for you. Um, and also you could be dealing with a CEO, a boss, a judge, okay? Someone that's very high ranking. Um someone that's a leader, someone that has a lot of responsibilities. He's in charge of a lot of people. He runs an empire. Okay. So, uh, he wanted to come out. Maybe you're, and I hate to say, I don't like saying things like this, but maybe you had a, a father figure that passed away and there was an inheritance and now people are fighting over it. Okay. That's just one way it could go. All right. More for the Aquarius, please. It's, I know I said property or a house. Okay, this is a structure. This is a home. It's a new home. Um, maybe you, you're waiting to get all the, I know when you're building a new home, you have to have all sorts of permits and all sorts of things. So maybe you're building a new home and getting all the permits and the okay. Um, from your county but this is the four of wands all right this is a new relationship a new marriage this is a celebration and this is a structure okay this is a this is a home built on a firm foundation all right so this this message could definitely have to do with some sort of property or a relocation or a new start, okay? Once all this is finalized, Aquarius, you can move forward <laughs> and live happily ever after, okay? This is the 11, 11 card, and the 11 is the card of justice. So this ruling probably will go in your favor, okay? All right, more for my Aquarius. All right, now we have the Knight of Wands that wants to come out. All right, so this is a Sagittarian energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign. You have the wands here representing um, fire also. Okay, now with the Five of Wands, that's conflict. That's, that's um, arguments. That's fighting that's um, being real petty, taking petty hits and digs at, at another person. That's if I added this Knight of Wands, which he's holding one, and add it to the four. The Five of Wands represent that. But this is a weekend warrior. This is somebody, this is the life of the party on the weekends, all right? If you need a little fun, this is the guy you call and they'll rock your world, okay? But they're only here for a season and a reason and then they're out the next time they trot into town, okay? Um, maybe you've been caught up with all this, with this issue here, okay? <laughs> and maybe you need a little fun in your life, all right? You need a little excitement. Okay, here is the seven of wands. So you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign, Aquarius, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, um, here's more wands. This is the seven of wands. This is being uh, guarded. This is standing your ground. Um, I know in the five of wands, it's a bunch of people bashing each other over the heads with sticks okay and I feel like maybe 
Okay, this is like the six, there's six wands here coming for this guy and this guy's standing his ground with his own stick and he's guarding a door. Okay, so this could be you. Somebody could try to be trying to take something from you and you're standing your ground and you're saying no way and you're fighting them off or something like that. It's like they're, it's like they're making several attempts. Do you see like, they're, you know, there's several all right, more for my Aquarius. Okay, here we go. The tower, the tower is here. So the tower comes in um, to shake things up, to break things down, to take away... I don't know, something that no longer ser serves you. Or like I said, this is like a rebuild or something and you need the, the permits and the everything you need to rebuild or something like that. The other card that wanted to come out is the Three of Pentacles. So something that you're working on or this is like a collaboration here with the Three of Pentacles. These could be three properties uh, that you guys are fighting for, but the, I, there's just... I don't know. The tower is here. The universe, whatever this, whatever this situation is, if I felt like it feels like it's very stagnant and the universe has to intervene and I'm not sure, exactly sure what's going to happen, but it's usually the tower falls. Okay. And then after that, the stars come out, the star card, which represents the Aquarius. Okay. Um, to remind us to be hopeful, to light our way, to uh, allow us to comb through the rubble and see what we can salvage, all right? And then rebuild it to something stronger and more beautiful, okay? Yeah, this is not a love reading. <laughs> You know, most of my readings are love readings. You know, I love doing those type of readings, but I'm not really feeling that, okay? I also, um, I don't feel like a romantic pull, but I do feel like you're missing somebody, uh, Aquarius. Someone from your soul tribe. Like you want to reach out to them. Because I feel like you've been dealing with a lot and... I think you've just been dealing with it yourself and you just wish you had somebody to reach out to. All right, more for my Aquarius. Okay, the two wanted to come out. This one came out face down. All right, Page of Pentacles. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so I think something was rewarded. Was, if this is going back to the inheritance... I, there's only one child in this picture, so something went to one and maybe not the other, okay? And I feel like um, the issue isn't resolved just yet. There's a fence in the background. There's a beautiful peacock on the, on, um, on the fence here. That could rep represent your loved one that passed, you know, um, or somebody may, you may have received this inheritance or whatever this was, or <laughs> the verdict is in and you, and it, the outcome was in your favor. Maybe somebody thought you got a little cocky about it. I don't know, but it's the page of pentacles is a messenger and, um, he, he has something tangible in his hand. Okay. And I believe it's financial. Because it he's holding a coin all right the other card that wanted to come out is the chariot so maybe somebody was getting you trying to get you to move or something the chariot usually has wheels on it this is a chariot that does not have wheels it has two sphinx on it um so it's not moving. It doesn't have to move. All right. It's okay to be where it's at because that's where it's supposed to be. Uh, there, there's, yeah. Okay. Um, I, 
I'm not sure what goddess this is. She possibly could be uh, goddess Beset. Um, she's an Egyptian goddess and uh, when she had to move, all right, her, her chariot didn't have wheels on it either. People carried her <laughs> wherever she needed to go. All right, so I feel like if you do stay in one spot, your your victory is coming to you. I don't feel like you have to move around too much for it. Okay. More for my Aquarius. Okay, there <laughs> you are. All right. Um, this is the King of Swords. He goes to battle. He's very strategic. He doesn't mind, uh, going the distance. He's very intelligent. He, he, he's a master of his speech. He's a master of his thoughts. Um, he represents somebody in law. This could be a lawyer. This could be someone in law enforcement, but, um, Aquarius, you rule the swords. So... This could represent uh, a, ma um, a masculine Aquarian energy, okay? Or you're dealing with your buddies, Libra and Gemini, but somebody's getting ready to cut something off or <sighs> this is a very dominant energy, okay? So they take charge, they, they cut off what no longer serves them, they're a little cold, they're a little detached, but sometimes that's how you have to be to get the job done, all right? <laughs> all right, where are we at? Okay, one more to wrap this all up for my Aquarius. What's the outcome for my Aquarius? One more for Aquarius, okay. <laughs> All right, from the King of Swords to the Ace of Cups. All right, so <laughs> this also looks like a trophy, Aquarius. So quite possibly you could be the victor in, in this legal battle, I'm feeling, okay? Or you're dealing with a water sign, <laughs> a Pisces, a Cancerian, a Scorpio. Um, but this is the ace of cups it's the cup of love so you could be falling in love or once this all is resolved your, your heart's gonna feel so relieved and full of joy and full of love and um or maybe this is self-love and self-reliance okay uh whatever this ace of cups is for you it's it's, we're leaving this, this reading on a very positive note. This is a very positive energy. So if you're worried, everything's going to be okay. All right. The Ace of Cups is here. Letting you know that. All right. Also, I believe that we're, we're in full moon energy right now. So you might be receiving some news today or tomorrow regarding this issue. Or like I said, you're really missing somebody and you're really hoping that you can um, speak with them and maybe you will, all right? This is a good sign indicating it's a yes. All right, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. Okay, till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.